<clears throat> yo, 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 oh, shit, damn, sharp-ass object. Okay, guys, I'm, oh, 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 sh oh, damn. Y'all see that? 1,030 super dust. You already know. Uh. Oh, yeah. By the way, this guy will also cover how to get 2,052 of these. Fire seeds. Okay. On top of that. <laughs> On top of that, we get some milky milks. You know what I mean? Nah, not something crazy, but it's for free, so why not? And those fire seeds can transition to radiant, which is over here. Now, it says I have only 64, but the truth is, that is because I have 2,052 plus 64. So for some reason, for some odd reason, the machine doesn't pick up the other 2,000. But that's in another matter. We don't need Radiant right now. So we're going to ignore that. But anyways, all right. If you want to get to this, if you, if you want to get to, uh, damn. If you want to get to this point, oh, also, if you want to get to this point, Within just two or three days of hard work, I'll tell you how. <laughs> and it's really not that hard. The requirements are not that much. Um, I would start off with at least level 30 equipment. Hopefully you're at least... Oh, let me recenter. Um, hopefully you're at least level in your level 30s. Um, I started this when I was level 40, but it wasn't it wasn't impossible. It was a bit hard. I did die a few times. But like anything, you just try out, you're going to die. <laughs> that sounded weird, but um the good part about this method is even if you are not initially strong, because we're collecting dust, that translates to enchantments. And over time that just makes you stronger and stronger, you know? I did the same activity for 2 days in a row. Put in about four hours each day, and that's kind of how I got here. Oh. And it just feels so good to have so much dust. You get to choose what equipment stats you want to get. Um, if you don't know what an enchantment does yet, I'll leave that in another video, or you guys can search it up online. And it's, it's everywhere online, so... But if you're a video watcher, you like to get your information on YouTube, you know, I'll try to I'll try to bump those out as soon as I can. I'm gonna have work in the next two days, but I'm still gonna try to record a little bit. And uh, I think my audio on my speaker is too loud, so I'm gonna turn that down because it might affect my mic audio. I'm gonna do that as soon as I get to the location. Now, I should have been talking, but you could just you can just rewind see where i went but i flew over the canyons all right i'm gonna hop onto the desk mic now um i didn't i'm not doing such a great job in guiding you guys during the in-game play but um getting to our destination is very simple once we hit into the portal just keep on following the hallways if you look left and right there will be some dead ends you know, obviously you're not going to go through those. Just keep on looking for the next entrance, leading you further down into the dungeon. Within a minute and a half or two, we're going to hit our destination. Um, the dungeon's not too big, so you can't really get lost. You know, it's a pretty straightforward, straight, turn right, turn left, go, go straight, down the stairs, you reach your destination. So, yeah. Well, but this is the general area where we're, we're going to head to. You, you see there's a lot of mobs here. All right, we're gonna walk through here. We're gonna gather all these mobs. Well, I ask, I gathered them up when I went back to the entrance, but you know, no problem. These guys generally do this, but don't worry. Just keep on walking. They won't de-aggro. They'll just keep on following you. They're a bit slower though, but. Our main targets are these creeps right here. As you can see, they're kind of common. They're a lot weaker. You, they're not elite bot. They're not elite mobs. For like, check this out. You see that skull? That means they're a little bit stronger than your average level 37s. Hopefully, I have the right gossums on. I didn't eat my food yet. We'll just get right into it. We just want to start massacring these guys. I don't think I have the proper runes on. 
Oh my god, that's just so sad, bro. Question is also why? Why would I choose this spot to farm? Why make a video on this? Um, it's because the respawn times in this dungeon are just really rapid. Compared to if you were in the open world, if you were to kill some mobs, it would take a very long time and there's no set rotation. You're going to be running back and forth everywhere. But because this is a straight dungeon, you know, they, they're always going to spawn in the same spot. They stay still. You can gather them up very easily. In the main room, there's about 10, there's about 10 level 37 regular mobs and the drop chances of them dropping what we need to disenchant for dust is pretty high. You know, it's the same as if you were to kill the dog or the stronger mobs upstairs. And to be able to gather them all up, or you could kill the mobs in one room, go upstairs, gather them, go downstairs. By the time they get downstairs, they will spawn. And, you know, you'll, you'll get creative with the rotations. It takes a while to get used to, but there are tricks and there, there are nice tricks. There are, there are also servers where they just respawn very rapidly and I would deploy you to look for those servers because after I started doing that it just became very, it just became much more easier. This method, I'll guarantee you guys, you'll get so much dust. It's like you're like a vacuum for crying out loud, right? Um, it's gonna put in, you know, like any MMO, if you want to get the reward, you gotta grind for it, you gotta work for it, right? So, I don't, you know, you gotta put in some time, but would you rather go around the map collecting a thousand chests in order to get this much you know would you would you open 500 600 chests to get this that's gonna take you days right at least this method will give you a it'll, within an hour you'll know you're gonna get around 250 to upwards to 350 regular dust and if you don't know how to get super enchantment dust if you don't know how to get mega enchantment dust i'm gonna put that in another video i haven't made it yet but i'm trying to make this day by day week by week so my timing is always off right now i'm still getting i'm still new to this so you know bear with me but um yeah i got some nice plus 10 armors from this hey i'll, I'll tell you guys like I would get plus 10s and then I would disenchant them. Not that it's efficient, but I had so much dust. It made me so confident that I could just get another equipment. But the reason I disenchant certain equipments is because there are special active or passive skills on the armor. And it also gives you slight stat boosts. Um, but see how vampiric sting? Oh yeah, I might as well go through my farming setup here right I have I, this one just to gain some stamina increase my critical hits my, my critical hit damage you know like I'm a DPS I'm a DPS blade master uh, critical helps me a lot um, deep breath it's basically you kill mobs you stack AP Three, up to three times nothing crazy special it's just good to have there um, but this one's very essential for me vampiric sting when critically striking an enemy heal for 25% AP there's a six second cooldown on that now paired with this here um, or what well, it was this one paired with blood thief on a killing blow gain 80% AP health three second cooldown do the math guys Within three or six seconds, I'm regaining like more than half or a full bar of my health, right? I don't even need my godstones to heal me. I can just use full damage godstones, right? I just need to make sure I don't die within three seconds, which once you upgrade your armor to this point, which won't take you that long, this this method will become very, very easy for you. Um, but those are the essential active skills that I have. Like, I love those. Or more so, they're, they're passive. I'm sorry, they're passive skills. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the other stats is increase health, increase stamina, increase criticals. I love critical. That's my thing right now. Oh, you can't really see. Um... You know, the rest, killing blows, gain 10 AP. Nicely, it goes well with this. Stacks AP very well, right? Um, some movement speed when I kill mobs. 
You know, these are fairly, fairly moderate easy going passes on any killing blow gain 10% crit chance for 10 seconds right I'm gonna show you my mage blade master setup <laughs> so one more detail I want to go through are godstones godstones are obviously extremely important if you haven't known already you can level up godstones you'll get points and you can use these points to level level up certain stats within that godstone and there's one stat that you can invest two points in it's, it's just really overpowered i'm gonna take my warp roll blades as an example it's an epic godstone i was super lucky to pick this up because the main stat that you can get for it is to refund 25 resource when you deal a killing blow to an enemy and because there's like eight there's there's eight mobs within a little wave you, you you saw me use eight scythes just now, you know, that's not that's not like a bug or anything That's actually a legit function in the game where I'm killing a mob with my scythe I'm regaining 25% of my rage and so I can just spam it, right? Um, so yeah, if you ha if you don't have the best godstones, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of options here You're gonna pick up a lot of them. I love figuring out stuff like this <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, see? But you have to do it, you have to kind of line it up right, or sometimes... Stop! Ah, please! I'm freaking dying! Alright, as I usually do, I'm gonna add in another thing in the video through my desk mic, cause... I just... <laughs> um, I just... <laughs> I can't, I can't, I should maybe like read a script and then memorize each point as I go through, but as you can see, I can't stick to the freaking guy while I'm actually playing the game, but um, servers, you want to pick a very low populated server, not because you're going to be contesting the mobs against other players, the, dun the dungeon is shared, you will see other players, I only seen one literally and it surprised me because throughout the few days I did this <laughs> crap throughout the few days I did this I only seen one person randomly pop up and I completely ignored him right <laughs> I just went to another server and bye but um avoid avoid more populated servers because sometimes it will interfere with the mobs respawn time it's just a bit more laggy and because the winter festival is going on there are there's still a lot of people putting down snowmans objects that don't that don't despawn um until a certain point and it just crap it'll, it'll cause the servers to lag there's been um problems with servers freezing booting you out and stuff like that so you know make it easy on yourself and just find the most unpopulated server there is so the respawn times are smooth and you can do your rotations the right way Oh, fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna put that in another video. I have a lot to say about enchanting. And this is my problem with using a, you know, recording raw audio footage, is I just keep on going off. But, okay. This video. We're gonna talk about how I got a thousand dust. Now, I didn't get this within an hour, okay? Like, don't, don't listen to me on that. Um, I'm gonna show you my one hour farming footage. And that's going to give you a good rough idea of how much dust you can get. Um, each run, each run's variety was different because I'm going to cover that now. Okay, say I have, I have 1,003 dust right now, right? I'm going to disenchant this sword. Make sure to hide this. I have 1,006. Um, I had three or I, I, I had 1,003 earlier, right? So basically I got, basically I got- So basically every time you disenchant a certain equipment that hasn't been enchanted already, there's a chance to get either one, two, or three. And the chances are completely random. That is why I say the, the, the variety is very different in each run, okay? <laughs> oh my god. There's food and then there's a beverage. You can pair two up with each other, like, I'll show you now. Oh, I can't see the animation. Oh, there we go. Notice I have 10%. I have 10 in 
I have 10% increase in critical damage. I mean, eh, critical chance. Boop. I have 18 plus critical chance. I'm up to 72 critical chance on my character now, right? Pretty busted. Plus, with some of these passes, I'm hitting, I'm hitting 80%. Like, it's busted, bruh. On top of that, you got your cookies. Now watch this. It also stacks some insane stats just from the foods. Oh yeah. If you have a pet, don't forget to summon it. Look at this, guys. I got this guy on my fifth, like not not fifth attempt. I'm capping at that point. I think it was my 12th time killing the Winter Festival boss. And I looked in my inventory and I'm like, oh my god, it's a cat. It's a freaking cat. You know what's even more funnier? This is my first pet. I didn't have the butterfly. I didn't have a beetle. I was so excited when I got this guy. Let's get into let's get into it, guys. Let's get let's, let's just get into it. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna move on to. Uh, already pre-accorded video I did earlier today um, my arms are the reason I said to take a break is because my arms are honestly stretched out like they're sore just from swinging that much for hours on end um, so yeah like VR is a game where you have to actually watch your body because if you do some wrong moves or just start swinging a lot like my arms are sore right now. I have work tomorrow, so I can't do another hour. Let's forward this. Let's see. I currently have 1,019 basic enchantments, 145 super enchantments. So let's see how much we can bust down within an hour. And um, you know, this is my setup for Blade Master DPS. If you guys are a DPS. You know, you could take these. Um, you know, I won't explain it because I already started timer. Let's get into it. Not bad, I'd say. Not freaking bad. <laughs> so I actually got sidetracked from finishing this video due to life, life businesses. But um, here are the breakdowns: a thousand and nineteen regular dust before, twelve hundred and eighty after. 145 super dust before, 182 after. So in total, we yielded 261 regular dust and 37 super dust. So I'll let you guys be the judge whether this method was viable or not. And on my next video, I'm gonna cover armor skills, one set for boss raiding, and one set for farming. And I, I believe that's just very important to have two sets in this game. Um, especially once you hit late game and have nothing else to do. There are a lot to do in Zenith and armor skills are just one of them that you want to acquire a good set of. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Peace out. <laughs> Boy. Damn, what the f Wow, bruh.